Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. How are you? I pray you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you, of course, the purest of love and light, knowing that God is for us. And because he is, who can be against us? Who can be against us? And so if it's your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support again i truly appreciate you always remember we are blessed and highly favored we are secured we're anchored and protected and because god is for us who can be against us who can be against us so yeah so the first card we have here is groupies so here we have some group is some people who are trying to team up to collaborate to work together to come against us and what you need to always keep in mind is that god did not tell us that the weapons would not form he did not tell us that people would not come against us he told us that the weapons may form so yes, they can come together, they may plot, they may strategize and all of this stuff. But for sure, he says, the weapons cannot, they will not prosper against us. And so we know groupies, they're followers, they don't have a mind of their own. And even though they're traveling in packs like wolves, they're like hyenas. If you catch them by themselves, they are speechless. Their eyes, I mean, they cannot, they cannot look you in your eyes. It's only when they are together in numbers that they feel as if they're relevant or they have something to say. But see, it's the, it's the confidence. It's the Godfidence that as the divine beings that we have, that we can go out by ourselves. We don't need to have 10, five people with us. We know that God is for us. And because he's for us, who can be against us? We know that there is more with us than with them. Because the truth is they're weak. And this is why they have to travel together. You know, these are people very low vibrational. Again, they drink, gossip, whatever it is just things that is not beneficial to themselves or society these are the people when they were younger they were they were bullies as well and i believe that as i shared before in a video yes god is very patient slow but sure and a lot of these people they have been doing these things for like their lifetime and again this is not a channel for children so we're talking about adults grown people who are still bitter for whatever reasons and I'm, I'm telling you encouraging you for those of you who have children young children please make sure that you cater to their emotional needs their psychological needs speak to them because these are the people who grow up bitter. I don't know what happened. Maybe they were dropped as a baby. I mean, they, they, a lot of these people, they're too old for diapers. Like they wore nappies. I don't know. Maybe somebody stuck them with a nappy, something, you know, but it's like there is this resentment that lingers in people that causes them to be so bitter and as they grow older they become more insecure more jealous more envious so when they see somebody else they try to tear them down and of course they're because they're vibrating low is like again your vibe attracts your tribe they attach to each other and not only that but they're working for the other side the dark side and so of course they're opposed in us because our light triggers them they're bothered by our light you're not trying to be better than anybody you're not trying to outnumber or outdo anybody but they see you as a competition and so it's very important to make sure you nurture your children let them feel love protected, secure in themselves so that they don't grow up 
to be a pest and a problem to society and, 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 and hurt other innocent human beings. So a lot of these people, they are learning you know, God, this is where a lot of them, they're getting their karma. Because like I said, a lot of them have been doing things up until this point. And it's like, you are the one. You are the one. You are the right one, but you are the wrong one that they mess with. Because they're so used to dominating, pushing over people. And now this is their moment to reap what they have sown. A lot of these people will have to sit with themselves. And the truth is a lot of these people, they're very lonely. They're sad when they're by themselves. Because they only feel strong when they are, you know, with, with each other. When it's like nobody's there to say, no, don't do this, nobody. Because again, it's like they want to fit in so bad. For those of you who are divine beings, you know you have your own opinion. You can speak up for yourself. If, if somebody's doing something wrong, you can say, no, I don't like that. I'm not going to be a part of that. But it says something when like a group of people will just say, yeah, let's all go out and do harm to somebody else. Because if what you're doing is not of the fruit of the spirit, then it simply means that you're not doing God's work. You're doing the devil's work. So you know what you're doing. These people know what they're doing. A lot of them, yes, they're wasting time. They're cock blocking. So whatever it is that is to come into your life, it's like this is why they're ganging up because they're trying to or they think they can stop your blessings. They can stop what is coming in. They think they're bigger than God. They think that they are God. These people are creeping. They're watching to see what is coming into your life. A lot of them, they're in their heads. They're in their heads overthinking, stress, overanalyzing these bullies. Like I said, when they're by themselves, they're of no use. If you catch them one away, they would walk like in a wall. Because they're weak. They're weak. Yeah, so it's like when it comes to, it could be when it comes to a romantic affair, a lot of them are cyberbullying. So you may be bullied online or maybe suffered from that as well. This is what these people are grouping together to do and they're cloud hungry. They will say anything and do anything. They will make stuff up. They're very dramatic. They're fake. They're fake. This is what I'm saying a lot of this is like they are the same thing. Birds of a feather flock together. Nobody is man or woman enough to say stop, don't do this. This is not right. And this is why as divine ones, chosen ones, we can walk alone because we have a mind of our own. And not only that, it's like you are doing God's will. So you are, your goal is to do what is best for humanity, to be fair, to be just. It's like some of you, you, you don't even care. It's like you're moving on. You're moving on from these people. You're, you're traveling away from these people because all they want to do is to have third party, you know, get you mixed up to get you caught up in things that you don't care about. And this is why a lot of them, they're mad with you as well because you refuse to be a part of them. And this is why they bully you because it's like, what is it that, or why do you think that you're better than us? And especially the leader of, of these groups, it's like they're able to, to buy people's love, again, by showing fake smile, talking things. I mean, they're very charismatic, so they know how to charm people, bribe people to come into their good grace. And it's like, you are not falling for it. For a lot of you, you are the ones who like, you, you broke the code because this person, these people, they were able to get along with fooling people for so long. 
and then now here you come it's like you mess up the plan you mess up the show they had they thought they had a good thing going on but see the thing about it is that God is going to send you into environments where there is some inequality where there is some injustice and especially where his chosen one is or are he's going to send another angel to rescue another one because it is not his will that any of us should perish and a lot of these people they have been doing too much and they thought they were getting away with things for a long time and they did a lot of them you know with their clout with the things they have to say they made up lies they bully, they gossip, they were able to fool a lot of people for a long time. And look here now, you have the receipt, proof. You have the proof to show that these people are bullies. They have been stalking you. They have been watching you. And this is why a lot of them are in their heads because they're stressed. A lot of these people, they're anxious because it's like now they're realizing what they got themselves caught up into. Because, again, a lot of these people for a long time, they were able to do these things and get away with it. And now it's like they're panicking. They're freaking out. That reminds me of like the nine of, of swords. It's like they can't sleep. They're, they're licking their wounds. Yeah, I'm telling you, a lot of these people, they're drama queen, drama king, thirsty, causing chaos. And if this was regarding a, a partnership, a connection, yeah, it's like they think it was funny to create stagnancy, to create delays in your life by wasting time because they were telling a lot of lies. Yeah, when it comes to a commitment, this is what they were blocking, cut blocking and stalking online to see what was going on or what would happen. I mean, it's like these people, they're like, you know, just who toxic narcissists is like this schoolyard bully. And this is what goes along from, I mean, from they were, like I said, younger. These are the things that these people used to do. And as they got older, it only manifests more in their lives, this jealousy this insecurity they didn't get love and affection from their home and so whenever they see anyone getting something that they thought they didn't get then that's their way of trying to come in the way to block it on top of the fact that because they're already low vibrational they are an open vessel to be used by the devil and so, yes, this is how it comes in where this our wrestle is not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places is like their body, their shell is housing spiritual wickedness. Because it's, it's almost as if they're here, but they don't have a purpose. They don't have a plan. It's like these people are lost. And their job are what they have allowed them lives to their lives to be used as a channel to be an opposition to God's people. Yeah, a lot of them, you know, they're coming to this realization, this awareness, finding out things are coming to light. Things are being exposed as to the things that they have been, like I said, with the cloud hungry, they have been saying a lot of things, doing a lot of things, making up a lot of lies, being very dramatic. And they were able to persuade. They were able to garner support for a long time to make it seem as if you are the bad one. And to make it seem so convincing that they were telling the truth. And everybody's coming to this realization now. It's like the trumpet is blown and everybody, the tower fly open, the sun came out and everything is now exposed that this person, these people have been telling lies. 
They have been gang stalking, watching, spying, paying people to bully. Wow. Yeah, a lot of these people, they were too focused on you. There were these fake smile, these fake people, they were very focused. You see that green eye, that jealousy over the fake smile. These people are not genuine. They are not honest. Again, they don't even know who they are. Yeah, so a lot of you, you're leaving people behind. And if it's a partnership, you're moving on to like-minded people, your, your soul tribe, basically. So it's like these people have been working hard to cut block could have been a partnership, a relationship. They've been stalking online, doing a lot of things, hacking, all of that. But it's like that is not going to stop what God has in store. So yes, access is granted with the keys here. Access is granted here. So a lot of them, they have been using, doing things on social media, fake profile, hiding in the background. But it's like this, it won't stop anything. It won't stop anything. Yeah. It's like everything is documented. Journal. What these people have been doing together. These third parties. All the lies. All the creeping. All the watching. All the stalking. They've been taking notes. Writing down stuff. Again, they just make up a lot of things. But look, intervention is like divine is here. God is here. Coming in, stepping in on our behalf, on your behalf. Yeah, like a bounty hunter. Divine is on a hot pursuit. On their tails, I'm telling you. A lot of them, they're licking their wounds. Because it's like they had no idea what they were getting themselves into. And, and again, this is the confidence that evil people have is that they, they, it's like they put all their chips in because they always get away with it. So it's like, what would be different this time? Well, the difference is you. The difference is you. They touch an anointed one. It's like they didn't read the fine prints that come with you. They thought you were so so quiet, so humble, so gentle. They thought you were naive, gullible. They could, they could easily do this because they have done it so many times. They are a professional. And this is why this person, these people, they were able to garner so much support from others. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So a lot of these people, like I said, it could have been regarding a connection, twin flame, happiness here, you know, a family coming together. They did not want you to ascend. So a lot of you, you're embarking on whether it's a twin flame, a soulmate partnership, the one mirrored soul that's pledged to be. It's like access is granted here. Because it's like everything has now come to light. You have the receipts. Everybody have the receipts as to what these people have been doing in the background all along. When it comes to somebody's happiness, their family, them moving on, ascending to another level. Because what these, this person or these evil people wanted was to have things on a roller coaster. Again, just wasting time to be lost, be in a place of entrapment. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything is now in the open. And whatever the, this person or these people were planning, it is now come to light. It is now come to light. I'm telling you, it's like you have the victory. You have the victory. Six of ones here celebration i mean everything is out confirmation the proof is out as to what these people have been doing in the background and this is why they are stressed because they now know that the proof is in the pudding the proof is there 
And it's like, yes, I'm telling you, they can't stop anything. What God has in store for us, it's already done. It's already done. I'm telling you, yeah, Knight of Coins, yeah, it's like slow and steady win the race. Like I said, God is slow, but he's sure. And it may have taken a while to have the proof. To come back to show that, yes, this person, these people have been doing a lot of bad things in the background. But nonetheless, it's here. It's here. And now we have the six of, of swords here. Moving on to calmer water. Yeah. It's like with family, with home, whatever it is. Because, and this is over the realization that these people were cloud hungry. This is the realization and the awareness that they have been lying. So someone is coming to the realization that what was holding up or causing blockage and stagnancy were some fake people who were groupies, who were wasting time, who they were trying to block, block a blessing. And now you're moving on to calmer water. Yeah, it's like an end to all of these fake smile. To these people you thought they were your friends, but in reality it's like they were jealous. They were jealous. It's like death, an end to this. It's like no more. And this is why victory is here. Wow, nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is celebration. This is this is the happy life. I'm telling you. It's like this is what this this person, these people did not want you to have. This happiness, this wish fulfillment. And this is why they were so hard at work trying to block your blessings. Yeah, six of cups. Mm. Yeah, it's like they didn't want you to have happiness and good memories. A lot of these were people in your past. You're moving away from these people. You're leaving them behind. It's like, yes, we've had good times. But you're realizing even those good times you had, it's kind of like, were there really good times? Because it's like these people have been fake. They're fake. You know, were they really genuine? It's like you're realizing that, you know, it's it's like a waste of time, really. You invest so much. Because it's like she's looking down at the cup in her hand, like everybody's laughing. But, you know, she's reflecting on the cup. The cup is the emotions, the feelings. It's like, is it really real? Did these people really love me? Because if they love me, why would they hurt me? If, if, if we were friends and families were coming from afar, why would they do these things to try to hold, to hold you back? I'm telling you, this is all about, for a lot of you, some of you with two of cups, love, wish fulfillment, even if this is just you being contented in yourself, it's like people didn't want to see you happy. And it's like with the intervention card and the bounty hunter. Yeah, it's like this is why God is now on their behind, on their tails, chasing them. Chasing them away from you. These people, a lot of them, they're ashamed, they're in hiding because they're exposed. They're exposed. I'm telling you, the Four of Swords, it's in reverse. These people wanted you to be stuck, to be stranded, to be left out in the cold when it comes to this connection here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but they weren't successful in doing that. 
they weren't successful. They weren't successful in doing that. Wow. God stepped in, love, queen of wands. Mm -hmm. They can't stop the celebration. And this is over the happiness. Some of you may have, you may like sunflower as well. This wholeness, this, you being overjoyed and smiling. I mean, talk about turning your mourning into dancing. Yeah, this is celebration. Look at the fireworks, the orchestra. You been out there performing, whatever it is. Even if it was a career, you could have had people working in the background trying to block you from getting this raise, this promotion. People in your community working against you from getting acknowledged, something. I'm telling you, he's an on-time God. He is, he is. I'm telling you, look, three of blades. These people are sad. They are broken hearted. I'm telling you, look in the background. That's you being happy. It's you being in your connection. Whatever it is, is you being blessed. They were not successful in, in, in disturbing that. Yeah. Mascara running down. They're a hot mess. I'm telling you. Yep. And justice is here. Justice is here. So it's like, Somebody's right, somebody's wrong. And the truth is that God sees everything. And it's like, you could have been passionately pleading your case. Could be in court. It could be to another person. That look, I didn't do this. And they are just as passionate or even more. It reminds me of the two women with, with Solomon and the baby. The one who killed her baby, she was passionate and crying that that baby was hers. While the real mother was there crying as well. So it's like, it takes a just, a fear person. It's like a king of swords, somebody who is our queen of swords, smart, intelligent, to dig through this, to peel the layers off, to see what is beneath. The evidence, I'm telling you, the receipts. The receipt is like the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Because it's like, even though this guy is there so fired up, like, and the two cars in the back here is a wreck, you know, so clearly he hit this guy's vehicle here. But yet still he's blaming this guy but here we have the judge. And for some of you, the judge is God who intervene on your behalf to expose everything that these wicked people have been doing, these groupies, these third parties here. Yeah, and because of that, Page of Cups, good news. Good news is coming. But see, when you get your good news, for these people, they will be in the Five of Swords conflict because this is what they wanted for you they are going to be in scarcity see this is what they wanted for you they wanted you to be left out stranded with nothing for a lot of you they could have gotten you fired they enjoyed watching you being stuck with nothing they didn't want you to have anything now they're left stuck the hangman to get a new perspective it's like time out prison spiritual jail or physical jail to look at their actions because while they're stuck here and all this blood going in their brain maybe they will come to an awareness or an enlightenment that what they have been doing all this these years and this time it's evil it's evil. And look, we have here the dove. You know, in, in the Bible, the dove is like the Holy Spirit. I remember coming down when Jesus was baptized. Yeah, it's like God is overseeing this. He's overlooking this. 
Yeah. And it's, it's like whomever this is could be the leader. It's like people are like, oh my God, how are they going to do it? How can they? Yes. It's like this little girl, she's cheering on. It's like these, this person, these people, they're going to be a spectacle because you know what? They were happy calling people, gang stalking you, bullying you, calling people to watch you, to laugh at you. Now it's like, how does it feel? Because like I said, a lot for a lot of these people, the shock is that they got caught. Because never before in their life were they caught. They were never found out with all the things they were doing. <laughs> They were never found out that they're a queen of cups in reverse. They're not loving. They're not caring as they made people believe. They're not nice. They're nasty. And the moon is in reverse. It's like everything is revealed here that these people were working to block your ace of, of coins. But won't God do it? The proof is here. The receipt is here. And it's like now these people, they will have to live with themselves because you're a boss, the emperor, a boss. Right behind it is the high priestess and you're now taking a journey, a faith move, a bold move with divine and they're left stuck in the nine of swords to look at themselves in the four of cups, missing out on opportunities. Until next time, I love it for you. Stay